509 winter gear unboxing. So I ordered tons of stuff for the season. I'm pumped to show you everything. I'm still waiting on a few more things. One of those things is the Stoke mono suit. Unfortunately, it's not going to be here till late January, but fingers crossed that changes and maybe it'll show up sooner. Um, but that's okay. I do have a different suit to wear, so that's fine. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go through all the stuff that I got for this season. <laughs> Alright, so first thing that I am so excited about, the Duke Trigger, Trigger Finger Mitten. They are definitely like a trail riding glove. So like on the trail up to the mountain. So obviously I don't ride trail that often. It's all off trail backcountry stuff that I personally like to do. But these are gonna be great, I think, for the trail in or even while you're having lunch. Like it's the three fingered mitten. Oh, they're so nice. And I love this color. It's the, what do they call it? Buckhorn love it they feel they're not like super 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 thick but definitely thicker than what i normally would ride in and also i think like there's not individual fingers on the inside so the fact that all three of these fingers get to be beside each other is good keep you nice and warm um yeah i'll do a more in-depth review of those on another video i'm going to do like a whole glove video because i have Tons of 509 gloves. But yes. Trigger finger. Duke trigger finger mittens. Color buckhorn, size extra small. I wear an extra small on all of their gloves, um, which is kind of surprising because I actually have quite large hands, but extra small seems to fit nice. All right, I splurged on the Carbon fiber, I believe this is the Altitude one is the one that I got. Yeah, Altitude 2.0 carbon fiber high flow in the color emerald. So, I don't know if you've ever ordered anything from 509, but their packaging is really nice. Cute little box, um, gives you lots of information about your product. So, I ordered a medium. This is the color, gives you a picture. So if you're shopping in store, all the boxes should have a picture of what color and what the helmet looks like. Um, the color is emerald and it's a gloss finish. This is the model that I got. And I think this is actually even a sizing chart. Uh, which, yeah, based on like hat size, I'm usually like around that seven and a quarter. I think I just haven't bought like a fitted hat in a very long time, but also kind of have a big head. So anyways, medium is what I wear in all of the 509 helmets. Um, my dirt bike helmet's medium. Actually, I actually think I wear medium in every helmet. Like even, like I used to wear a Klein helmet and I was a medium in that, I believe. So last year I ordered a, or no, I didn't get a new helmet last year because I liked the one that I currently had. Um, but when I got my dirt bike helmet, it's just the like tactical off-road. It's not carbon fiber or anything, but one of my friends had ordered a carbon fiber 509 helmet and I didn't realize that they all come with this nice helmet bag. I believe it's only when you order the carbon fiber one, so that is almost worth it. Just kidding, not quite. This is not a like, I don't know what the difference. I think the price difference is honestly like $150 or something. So obviously this is not a $150 helmet bag, but still pretty cool. Like it has different like pockets and stuff in it. So I don't know what you put in those pockets with your helmet, but little one here. And of course the 509 fueling your passion. Um, saying whatever that would be, I don't know. And then all the helmets, no matter which one you get, I believe should come with like this. Also another helmet bag. Um, what else do we have in here? The breathe box, which I never put in my helmets. I don't know why. I just, 
I don't like it. I find I fog more easily, so never use that. Some extra foam. Some extra plastic pieces that I don't actually know where those would go, but and then a little 509 brochure. Look at that. How flippin' nice. I'm so obsessed with this emerald color that 509 has this year. Like, how pretty. I love it. I feel like it's a good amount of color, but still like kind of simple, not too out there. Um, I also got the Fidlock this time. I think that's what they call it. That just snaps on. My, I didn't get it on my dirt bike helmet and I regret it. So like how nice is that? So fast. Cool. Yep. Absolutely love it. I will do another, like I said, all of this stuff I will have multiple, multiple in-depth reviews. I just want to show you what I have. All right, next box. Let's see what we got in here. I've obviously opened the boxes. This one I looked at, I think. Some of the stuff. Okay. Got some new, I'm sitting very ridiculous. <laughs> new base layers. Um, this is the women's FZN. I don't know what that stands for. Merino quarter zip in the color black. I got a size medium. I find in 509 all of the men's stuff I wear an extra small or maybe a small like in the hoodies and stuff like that, but all the women's stuff I'm a medium. So, merino wool. I've never actually worn anything merino wool, so I'm a little interested to see how these are gonna go. They are a lot thinner than I pictured them being. And like they're soft, but like not like a fleecy soft or anything, but everybody says merino wool is the way to go. So there's that. The matching pants to go with it. Like everybody says these are the way to go, but like I can see through it when I hold them up like that. So we'll see. Like I said, I've never actually worn merino wool before. Tiny little 509 detailing there. Again, I kind of like that it's like simple. And what size did I get these in? Medium as well. <sighs> what else? This. I'm excited for this. They came out, they had this, it's like a protective vest. What do they call it even? Yeah, a women's protective vest. So they had this last year in just the men's and now I actually don't know what the difference is between the men's and the women's maybe just like a better fit for women and the way we're shaped and stuff but yeah it's got protection on the back on the sides and on the front just like it's not super bulky which I think is nice um yeah I hope to like it I one of my friends he has the men's one and he says he doesn't even notice it. It doesn't restrict him or anything. So I'm hoping that will be the same way with that. What else do we got in here? I have some other old stuff that I tossed in here. Some new gloves. I had this version last year. Just as, this is the free ride glove. And I actually got last year's version. There is an updated version. Um, but I didn't get them. I don't know. These ones would just come right away and I had this version is a different color last year and love them. They're my favorite gloves, so why we're in a good thing. Just get the same ones. And oh, <laughs> these. Ah. I'm gonna do like a full, I think I've already mentioned this, but a full like glove haul of all of my 509 gloves. These are, I think they're called the Neo Glove. I already ripped the tag off these ones because. I was so excited to see them. Um, they're like a neoprene, like what a wetsuit is made out of. And then they have like a grippy bottom. 
And then a little 509 detail there. I don't know why the seam is like that, but it kind of looks a little funny, but that's okay. They're for like loading your sled, like dealing with your ramp on your sled deck. Um, even like you could wear them to like shovel snow off or scrape snow off your truck in the parking lot when it snows a lot or whatever, get gas, anything like that. They're just like a nice truck glove. So, well, that's what they're described as. We'll see. They're kind of an interesting material and don't, they don't fit my fingers quite as nice as I had hoped. They're still like a little bit bulky, but I don't know. I was excited about them. So can't wait to try them out. And then I got some new socks. Obviously I've already taken these out of the box and tried them on. I have this pair already just in black and I like them. They're super thick. So if you don't like thick socks, don't go with these ones. I think these are the Stoke sock. Um, yeah, I like them. Very thick, very warm. This is the, I got the like small, medium or extra small, small, I think, whatever the small size they come in is. And they are big on me still, like the heel, like, cause they do kind of stretch. So I actually wear the heel like way up the back of my leg, but that's fine. They're still comfy. They don't bother me in my boots or anything. So good. Um, I just have some other like random things in this box. So oh, this is new. some new goggles. These ones are the Sinister X7 goggle in the color oil slick. I was so excited about these when I seen them on the website. I got the Ignites, Kingpin, I think. Yeah, Kingpin Ignites last year and hardly ever wore another pair of goggles. The Ignites are amazing. They're the heated goggles. So if you don't have them, definitely recommend getting a pair. So I really didn't need another pair of goggles because if anything, I should have got another pair of Ignites, but they didn't have them in this color and I just loved it so much. Like how cool are these? I love that color. Love the lens, like that tint or whatever. But then also like how freaking cool. And these are also the magnetic lenses. I always forget how they work. They just, yeah. They just like pop off. So if you did want to get like other lenses, I like this tint, but if you wrecked them or whatever, you wanted to get other ones or for different daylight, super easy to just snap back on. But yeah, I think that's all of my new stuff. So, um, like I said, other than my Stokes suit that will be coming later this year, but that's all right. Um, I'm going to do a full, very in-depth review of all of the stuff that I have. This is kind of just a quick overview of all the new things that I have. So hope you liked it. Stay tuned for the next couple videos that I have coming out. That will be, I think I'm gonna do gloves and goggles in one, um, helmets and boots, maybe the suit all in one, and yeah, some other like miscellaneous stuff. So stay tuned. Um, if you like this video, make sure you like, subscribe, all that fun YouTube stuff, and we'll catch you in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.